Alright y'all, but in today's video, we are going to be talking about the GPO Season 1 Battle Pass and if it is worth buying. And as you can see right here, it already gives you the option to buy every single tier. And you won't guess how much it costs. Buying every single tier in the GPO Battle Pass will cost you $100. Yes, bro, you heard that right. $100, aka 10,000 Robux. And I'll be honest, bro, for 40 tiers and a bunch of common and epic items, that is actually insane. That is crazy overpriced in my opinion just to buy all the tiers. Then again, you could just grind for it, which is obviously fair. But to be honest, if you're going to buy all these tiers, that is extremely overpriced. $100 is crazy. Basically, I'm going to be telling you all these items in the battle pass and is it worth buying? So yeah, let's get right to it. All right, y'all. So as you can see, all my stats are completely zero. I am tier zero. But starting off with tiers one and two, we have two stat point resets. Obviously, you know, something light, something slight. Just for the beginning tiers, you get two little stat point resets. Now getting on to tier three, we have a dark root. Obviously, as you can see right here, the first three tiers are pretty easy to get. Nothing crazy in common items. But now getting on to tier four, we have a mask. From what at least it looks like, it looks like a new mask added to the game. But onto tier 5, our first epic item in the battle pass. Looking at this item, I'm only going to assume it's Jotaro's coat because as you can see when it turns all the way around, you see the little chains peeking out the collar. But yeah, it's probably Jotaro's coat. Both tier 6 and 7 are both just stat point resets. Once again with the same pattern, tier 8 is just a dark root. And right following that, we have another piece of clothing. And as you can see here, the entire battle pass follows the same layout. Two stat point resets, a dark root, a mask, and then clothes. So yeah, it gets a little repetitive, but you know, at least it's all different clothing. Once again, tier 11 and 12, two step and resets, a dark root. Then after the dark root, we have a rare fruit chest, which actually, apologies for me, I've been calling it a, uh, a helmet the whole time, which I do, I do apologize for that. But yes, it is a rare fruit chest. Then after that, we have the Demon Slayer uniform. It honestly looks pretty cool. It looks straight out of Project Slayers, I'm not gonna lie. After that, once again, 16, 17, two step and resets, 18, dark root, 19, another rare fruit chest, and then 20, we have Itadori's uniform. Following those, we have two step and resets in 21 and 22. Tier 23, we have a dark root, Tier 24, we have another rare chest. And for tier 25, we have Saitama's uniform. And for tier 26, following the other epic rarity, so doubled epic rarity, we have a white cape. Following that, we have tier 27, which is another staff and reset. Tier 28, which is another dark root. Tier 29, which is a rare fruit chest. And tier 30, which is Naruto Uzumaki's uniform. I wouldn't say I'll go to my way to spend $100 on it, but you know, for grinding, that's actually pretty cool. Tier 31, we have another stat point reset. Following tier 31, with tier 32, we have the epic rarity Sabo's uniform. Tier 33 being another dark root, tier 34 being another rare fruit chest. Following with the uniform, we have tier 33, which is another dark root, tier 34 being a rare fruit chest again. After that, at tier 35, we have another cosmetic rarity being Yami's outfit, aka Black Bull costume. And finally, at the last page of the battle pass, at tier 36, we have another stat point reset. At tier 37, we have Zenny 2's cloak from Demon Slayer. That is fire. Following tier 37, at tier 38, we have the 10 Tails Jinjiriki uniform. As you can see right here, worn by Obito and Madara alike. And after all those rare items, we finally get to the last two legendary items in the battle pass. At tier 39, we have a legendary fruit chest, meaning you can go from anywhere from the Quake Quake fruit all the way to the pika fruit so yeah this is kind of a w loki but you know you could get anything from us so you know it's a little risky and last but not least at tier 4 we have the world and their sword this sword is straight up from league of legends as you know from my last video but yeah folks that is all there is to it to the new gpo battle pass now with my final verdict is the gpo battle pass worth a hundred dollars and I'm going to have to answer that with a staggering no. The GPO Battle Pass is not worth $100. Bro, if you're going to sit here and pay $100 for two legendary items and a bunch of epic items, man, you are bugging. Especially for a bunch of cosmetics that don't really do anything except for make you look cool. But yeah, that's my final verdict on the Battle Pass. Me, personally, I will not be spending $100 on buying all these tiers. I'll probably just grind it myself whenever GPO decides to fix the mode. But yeah, that's basically all I got to say about the Battle Pass. See ya.